Hi, I'm still here with another video. In this example I created another hull. Designed by John D. Spencer at Thanton Yacht Design. The lines are equal to the reference design. The drawing in the background is the original project. Hull edges coincide with the project. Were adhered to its original size. Now active the layer 2 with measurements of surface. To create the notations with measurements, I used an add-on called Measure It. With Blender you can be very precise. You may notice that the measurements are equal, both in length and width. The water line is given in feet. The dimensions are, length is 61.82 feet. Width equals 11.640 feet. The DWL is 25 inches. I also added the labels on the edges of the hull. The line of the hull have the vertices lined up. I have been accurate in positioning the vertices. The lines are accentuated with edge crease. The curves are separated only for demonstration purposes. In fact to use the grid fill will be merged. And now I'm starting to create surfaces. With the grid fill is quite simple. I select the opposite edges and I run the command. Repeating throughout the hull, piece by piece. I created only half hull and used the mirror. Here at this point I've done something wrong. In fact we see that by accident I select a vertex on the keel line. One understands by how Blender generate the surface. This is the result I got. This hull is practically devoid of roughnesses. As can be seen well in shaded mode. The surfaces have a uniform curvature. This is still a first approach. I am convinced that we can design better inside Blender. Now I export my hull in OBJ format. Then it will be converted in VRML format. And finally I can import it into free ship. But here I forget to deselect some options. I realize the mistake while converting. I have to select only a few options. The next step is to import the hull. Then I active the free ship window. I import the VRML file, converted with Meshkin. With free ship a lot of data can be extracted. Personally I am not capable of meddling with free ship. 
so I just have to accentuate the edges even free ship. I select the edges, with Ctrl plus the left mouse button. And then in the drop down menu at the top I'll select crease. Then I activate the symmetry and shading. You also need to enter the main dimensions otherwise will not perform properly. FreeShip is loaded with features to process the holes. Simplifying the design and in addition is free. With these two programs, you can design the holes. A previous video explains how to export to FreeShip, with links for the programs. And another explains the use of the grid fill. As always I hope the video being useful to someone.